So we have to make sure that all the companies are on the competitive edge because they have to deliver optimum to all of their stakeholders. Now for this, women are a very important element. I'm not using the word resource, I'm saying element. Without the women embedding their leadership style, it's going to be very difficult for companies to be sustainable. And that is something we have been trying to say for the last 12 years. No video. I am very pleased um, to see your uh, CVs and your profiles. Most of you are extremely well qualified. Uh, and you know, qualification is a lot of hard work. You can't be an aeronautical engineer or an electrical engineer or, you know, solar engineer or somebody who's just, you know, done an MBA without putting in a lot of hard work, that I know. So one thing I know about everybody in this group is that you're all extremely hardworking. The second thing is that in reading uh, your profiles on where you wanna be in the next five years, it's really heartening to see how aspirational you are. Please notice I'm not using the word inspiration, I'm using the word aspiration. To me, that is more important than inspiration. You know, if you don't aspire, what is the use of your inspiration? You're being inspired to do what? To fulfill your aspiration. So that's where the aspiration is very important. Now, the third thing is that I think you should all feel extremely fortunate to have this opportunity for three days to do a leadership program. And uh, I presently have 850 mentees from leading companies. So you're in a very fortunate position because we come with all of this insight and all of this perspective and all of this experience. Uh, and we are totally determined that in the next three years, you are all going to change your mind, skew your mind, rebalance your mind, and make sure that you reformat yourselves to think in terms of leadership for yourself, not managers, leaders. And finally, we expect you to apply it in the workplace. Whatever you're doing, Whatever you learn from here, we expect you to apply it in your workplace. That's when it counts. The word is called demonstrate. If you learned and you did not demonstrate, it is of no use to anybody. You may as well keep the learning. Write a book. But you have to demonstrate if you're a leader. You're not a writer. You're a leader. Half the population of the world is women. And during this time of pandemic, women have shown immense resilience huge qualities that will be very important for sustainability these are the key five qualities that we'll be teaching you today and over the next three days please make sure that you remember these qualities and write them down the first one is empathy this is going to be your shining star for every company for every leader you've got to be empathetic Two, positivity. That doesn't mean that you're in denial of what is wrong. It just means that you're focused on what is right and how to fix it. Which is why in the Will Forum, we don't encourage long, endless discussions on problems. We want to know, okay, okay, where's the solution on this? The third thing is adaptability. You see, I'm talking to you here in the South Cal Mountains. I'm adaptable. I'll take my session from here. How does it deduct from my leadership quality? How does it deduct from my executive presence? How does it subtract from my aura? How does it subtract from the impact I'm going to make on you? I'm adaptable. You can put me in this wonderful surrounding. You can put me in an executive boardroom. I'll be exactly the same. I'm adaptable. And then there is learnability. Learnability doesn't mean that you're going to learn. It means you're going to know how to apply your learning. That's called learnability. And finally, impact. You have to impact people around you all the time, all the time. With these four qualities of empathy, positivity, learnability, and adaptability, you have to impact people. Think time and life are not the same? then your life is exactly equal to the time you've got on planet Earth. If you don't have time, you don't have life. I'm repeating myself. So, 
don't ever say I don't have time or I can't manage time. It means I don't have life and I can't manage life. Now, what I'm saying is that, can you please manage it? That's what you're supposed to do. Time is not a limited quantity, it's an unlimited quantity. So if you just dispel this thing in your head of I have to divide my time between X, Y and Z, you will be fine. As long as you think you have to divide your time, you will lose, 100% you will lose. This whole HR thing of dividing time is the wrong equation. There is only one time and there is only one life. You don't have to divide it. Now listen to my answer. You have to make choices. <clears throat> how are you going to spend that life is equal to how you're going to spend that time. The choice is yours. Make your choice. But don't say I don't have the time because that means I have no life. Say my choice I'm not able to make. Those of us who have managed time have managed our choices. Please listen to me very carefully. Time management is not about taking time and managing. Time management and life management is about deciding your choices and then being comfortable with it. This is the only...